Hey everybody! Hi everyone! Mr. and Mrs. Traveler here. It'll cost glam at home. All right, everybody. Well, happy Tuesday to you. I hope everybody is doing well. Happy Tuesday. We're almost to hunt day. <laughs> All right, everybody. <laughs> so we're going to talk a little bit about the finances of certain cruise lines, kind of go over that a little bit. Uh, we have a little bit of fun coming up with some more of our trivia, little guest game with the uh, pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to, uh, per our winner yesterday, we're going to talk about the horizon a little bit. Yes. And a couple other things. After this, we'll be right back. Let's get started. All right, welcome everybody. Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. If you can, make sure you leave us a thumbs up. And we are Mr. and Ms. Traveler, I'm L Cost Glam. We also have another channel where I do beauty and I give it to you 100% beauty and I keep it beauty on that channel. And this is Mr. Traveler where we travel the world and we decided to uh, cruise, make you a cruise fan as well as us and if you waiting to go on that next vacation make sure you contact us at 877-697-4470 or we can be reached at www.mr-traveler.com i'm also on instagram on l cost glam or you can reach mr traveler mr traveler 74 where you can keep up with us on the daily that's right, everybody. So thank you for joining us today. Some quick hellos to everybody. Hi, see everyone. Shy New jumping on. Trevor Jet Center said they got tested positive for COVID. Oh, yeah. Lord. Well, you and our prayers. Yeah, hope, mm -hmm. doing, hope you're doing well. Me too. Thank you for watching. Michael, Connie, Deb, Snap Hap, Sharon, Tavia, Terrell, Barry, Kay, Angela, The Recon. Cruise Talk. Cruise Talk. Tony Anderson, <laughs> TJ, Anitra. Hi, Aries everybody. Girl. And Autobadiva and Kelly got the last one in for right now. All <laughs> Thank right, everybody. Thank you so much for stopping your Tuesday. You could be doing anything today, but you decided to watch The Travelers. <laughs> That's right. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I got to, um, you know, I'm going to jump right into this as soon as I pull this over here a little bit. I would like to thank you all while Mr. Traveler is getting ready. Thank you all for the thumbs up, the comments, and super chats. Check out, check out Miami today, guys. Watch this. Okay, get ready. Here we go. This is the Port of Miami. Uh, let's see, they're still on the same camera, right? Or they did they switch it up on me? No, no, it's coming. It's coming up. Just hold on. It's coming on down. Watch this, guys. Patience, Mr. Traveler. Well, I'm so excited when I see when I see cruise ships, I just get so excited. You calm down because it's the <laughs> holiday season, uh -oh, and this I year is it. is it coming up? All right, ladies okay, and gentlemen. What's going All right, on? so here we have, ladies and gentlemen, that is your Carnival Breeze, which has been sitting in Miami. That's a good sign. I mean, it has been in the Port of Miami for a little bit now. It's been there. So that, to, I mean, that's to me, that's really good news. That is progress right there, ladies and gentlemen. We haven't seen that in so long. But hold on. Wait. There is more. Okay. Keep watching. There's the Royal Caribbean headquarters right down there. See at the bottom. That's mm -hmm. the Royal Caribbean building. It's live that. Love that. Yes. And then coming up quickly here. I see the uh, all of our traffic in our beautiful state. <laughs> Miami is Miami is beautiful. It's so busy, it but is. it is so it's, beautiful. To me, Miami is like Vegas with the beach. It is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> okay, so here it comes. It's coming up here. Mm -hmm. I promise you, it's coming up. <laughs> it's coming up. It's coming we'll up. Take your time. Enjoy okay. enjoy all the sailboats that's out today. There it goes. Look at that, y'all. We got a good shot today. What ship is that? Of the MSC. Meraviglia. There's the Meraviglia. I hope I'm saying it correctly. Meraviglia. Beautiful. That was the last ship that we rode before the pandemic. Yeah, it was if, parked in that spot, matter of fact. And if you guys <laughs> remember, I'll go ahead and link the videos above so you can take a look <laughs> at them when you finish watching this video to do a throwback because we really, really miss cruising. That was the last trip that we took before all this pandemic stuff happened so we are enjoying your comments we enjoying your thumbs up thank you so much for tuning in we appreciate each and every one of you thank you and i think mr traveler have another 
picture that he wants to share with you. You know, this is we just gonna have some fun before we get into spilling the tea. Hello to everybody. Happy Tuesday. I'm gonna show you this last one and then yeah. let's see, we get rid of that. Someone asked how could they get one of our beautiful t shirts. We're gonna get into that real quick once we get done with you Mr. Read, Traveler having you read fun. our mind. <laughs> Okay, it's coming up here. Okay. Well, I'm just going to leave it like that. Let's just do okay. this. It's taking too long. Okay, so here is our beautiful St. Martin. And I looked it up this time, so I know who we got here today, guys. <laughs> we have the Enchantment of the Seas, Royal mm -hmm. Caribbean. We have the Vision of the Seas, Royal Caribbean. Okay. We have the Independence of the Seas, which I... Uh, is in there somewhere. And the Carnival Elation. But that sure looks like a... I just looked it up on Cruise Mapper, but that sure looks like a Norwegian ship there in the middle, though, doesn't so it? So hang on. What port is this? This is Port of Miami. I mean, what? I'm sorry. St. <laughs> Martin. St. Martin. That's what I thought. <laughs> That's St. Martin. St. Martin. Pitch black there already. It's dark already. It's actually light here. If you can see the light coming in and the window, we have a big, giant picture window right here, and we can see everything that's going on outside. It's light here, but it's dark in St. Martin. I saw, somebody asked a great question. Ms. Ziggy is asking about the, uh, do you think Virgin is going to cancel January cruises? Yeah. You know, it's hard to say. I, I think yes. I think ultimately mm -hmm. they probably will push it back a little bit further. Um, but, I mean, it's a brand new ship. Mm -hmm. It's their only ship. Right. Um, so we, we may see this one we may see this one go out. I don't know. They're, as long as they meet the requirements of the CDC and everything, who they knows? Should. They have been really on the Fingers quiet. Crossed. They have been really on the quiet about it. They really have. We we we're we'll get, we want to get nosy because we want to find out what's going on. The more quieter they are, the more we look. <laughs> yes, Triple Deuce has so. been to th St. Martin three times. I absolutely love St. Martin. Karen Whiteman Bell, hello from the D. What up, though? What it what do? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, right, Karen. So so okay so let's talk a little bit uh you wanted to talk a little bit about some finances we're not going to go too deep into it but right. one thing that we find that people talk about a lot or when they call um they're a little bit hesitant about putting a lot of money down with the cruise lines now mm -hmm. because of you know uncertainty you know that's i can't blame them and and that's that's for sure i mean we're looking right now at seriously a solid year yes for a for a business not to be operating. True. We're and gonna get into some facts. Yes, absolutely. Including travel agencies. <laughs> including us. Okay. <laughs> you see my face? <laughs> yeah, this is my full time job. So I'm like, uh tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Yes, but thankfully we are secure with my husband's uh career. I also have three degrees to fall back on if I need be, but I don't want to I don't I just I love being a travel agent and I just I just this is my dream to own um, our own business and mm -hmm. I just if I had to I can fall back on surgery but I'm just going for it I'm going I'm going for our business 100% yep. I'm in 100% but I do have something to fall back on if need be so but the rest of the the, the world it, there's a lot of people who have been hit by yeah. this pandemic um, taking us out of the equation yeah. there has been 250,000 jobs lost from the pandemic mm -hmm. in the travel industry. So that's a lot. Yeah. I, I, I honestly think that that may be a little bit on the light side, to be honest I with do. you. But I, I think that's on the light side. I think, I think it's more than I that. I think that there's some people that were in the travel agency but have moved on mm -hmm. to other things at this point. Sure. You know, so... Yep. Uh, you know, kind of the ones we wanted to talk about a little bit was right here in our backyard, there's a little cruise line called the Bahama uh, Celebration Cruise Line, which picks up in the port of West Palm Beach, mm -hmm. and it goes mm -hmm. over, uh, they used to go to Freeport over to the Bahamas, um, uh, and uh, they have overnight stays there, they have partnerships with other, ho other hotels, I think they may even own the hotel or whatever over yes. there. Um, so it's a, it was a nice little getaway, especially for, I would say, the locals. Uh, people within the driving distance of, of West Palm Beach. Um, so they have opted to, and, and remember, this is the same company that got sued by the uh, the employees not too long ago because they were 
I want to say the cruise I was basically making that worked for free. We'll link that video right here. When you go back and watch it, you'll be able to see it. And I saw Cruise Talk say, me and Mr. Traveler talk about this at 4 a.m. in the morning. So <laughs> him and Mr. Traveler is really good friends. And they talk about these things very early in the morning because they both have to work <laughs> early yeah. in the morning. But, yeah. I mean, you know, when you got a passion for this stuff and you love doing this stuff, mm -hmm. not only as a, uh, a hobby, but the... the uh, uh, a profession and a hobby you know yes. it's something that you love to do um you, you know it kind of stays on it stays on your mind mm -hmm. uh fun fact the uh, uh yeah that's right uh cruise talk yes yeah, bahamas paradise that's the line mm -hmm. bahamas paradise line so uh, there's the grand celebration the bahamas celebration and then the grand classica and what we're going to get into so, today is our cruise lines and financial trouble that's what we're going to so, talk about so so why don't you tell them about like what they did okay. with the with the Bahamas celebration. Okay, so I'm going to give you some facts here. What happened was the Bahamas celebration and the Grand Bahama, there was two cruise ships that they were going back and forth over. And what the plan was to do test cruises, they wanted to start, you know, to get approval through the CDC because everybody knows the CDC is like potent. <laughs> the trophies right now for everybody cruising. Yeah. Well, they have to get approval. So there were supposed to be some test cruises done and this, that, and the other. And they were supposed to resume cruising July 25th. Well, there's only one port that this particular cruise uh, line goes out of, which is the port of Palm Beach. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. We never wrote it. Cruise Talk have wrote it. And we had his opinion on it. He can chime in as well in this video down below if he like. Um, the thing was they were supposed to do short cruises, quick turnovers with passengers, and their plan was to have a clean and healthy safety protocol. And they were getting all ready, and um, what happened was they, they sold one of them. So it's mm -hmm. undisclosed if it's going to be scrapped or who it's sold to. They did not share that information, so that's where we are today. So, and this is the same cruise line that the ship ran aground a few years ago. A few is years this ran the ago. same one? Yeah. Wow, um, what's the history but of But fun fact, Car uh, the uh, uh, Bahamas Celebration mm -hmm. used to be, for everybody out there, what did the, let's see if anybody gets it, what did the Bahamas Celebration used to be? It was bought from a cruise line. If you kind of look at it, you know, I should have put a picture of it up there. I don't have one, though. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if anybody can figure figure out real quickly what it is. What did the what Bahama... What was the former company that owned this particular ship? Bahama Celebration. Mm -hmm. Bahama Celebration. And while we're waiting on the answer to come up, because Mr. Traveler is looking at it, I'm going to give you some more facts about this particular okay. ship. This ship has helped with the Humanitarian Relief Fund. They did. And they actually helped with Hurricane Dorian in 2019. We actually experienced that as well they also helped with hurricane irma and hurricane maria i remember that we have a lot of hurricanes down here and for some reason last year was really bad but this year wasn't so bad for us but last year was and they helped out with that and they also helped out with some some COVID stuff going back and forth and it was a pretty old mm -hmm. ship did anybody guess it yet yeah well m rosa said carnival <laughs> okay karen said carnival and then cruise talk said carnival celebration that's right yeah absolutely we used to be the Carnival Celebration way back in the day. It was mm -hmm. one of their one of their original ships. Yes. Um, and and now they're starting to build the brand new Carnival Celebration, which right. if you don't know, you can join us on that too. We That's have a fun. group cruise. Oh, you know I'll put the little okay. shameless I'll put the little shameless plug put in there. Put our shameless plug on there. There, there you, you go, go babe. You oh, can, that's good. You can email us there if you Please like some do. more information on that or give us a call. Yes. You can give us a call at, at this. If you want to give us a call, you can just give us a call too, for anything. Um, mm -hmm. You know, this is you're getting on the Christmas season now, so it's always a you know if you want to try to plan something or book a trip for later on in the year, maybe towards the end of the year, maybe yes. you want to do a land trip. The land trips are very popular right they now. Are. A lot of people going to resorts. They just going all inclusives are very popular right now. Mm -hmm. Even though we can't cruise right now, people are still booking right now. There's a lot of people who has uh, onboard credit or credit they have to transfer to this one, transfer to that one, and there's a lot of canceled cruises. So some people are even stacking, you know, their onboard credits for the next cruise. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of cruise lines are kind of cutting that out right now. 
But yeah, <laughs> that's what's going on with that. So yeah, there's a lot of, of um, land bookings that's being made. A little more facts about our topic today, our cruise lines in financial trouble. I just wanted to get into a little bit more facts. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, talk about it because, I mean, they have not been getting revenue in for, I mean, months and months and months now. Yep. And, um, and we, I know that several of them have turned to outside investors and mm -hmm. scrapping ships and yes. selling ships and all kind of stuff. So Yes, so I have to bring, I'm the messenger. <laughs> I have to bring what's going on, what's serious, and then we can talk about some fun things later. But I'm going to give you the facts of what's going on. The hopeful thing that the cruise lines is working on right now is they want to have that quick turnover passenger uh Turnover, they want to do a lot of short cruises. And I know it's a lot of, of, of people who love to do long cruises with us. There's a lot of veterans who like to cruise. Me and Mr. Traveler has been on 50 cruises. We would rather do a long cruise than a short one. But to start, I do believe they're going to start doing like three, four, and probably seven day, but not too many seven day cruises. What do you think? Cruise, uh, cruise, you asked him about the, the, Bahama mm -hmm. the Bahama celebration. He said the. Uh, Ship was dated for sure, but the food in the main dining room was great. So okay, he said the food was great in there. That's an important factor. Dated ship. <laughs> yeah, I heard that it feel like the eighties. Is the, the decor is probably really eighties carnival? And, I heard. And we'd like to say hello to Alistair all the way from Hi, Scotland over there, and, and hope that you're doing well over there. You guys are uh, first ones in line for the for the uh, vaccine that's going on over there. Yes, Alistair, comment below and let us know, would you take the vaccine? He's all the way from Scotland. So I want him to comment below and let us know, or he can keep it to himself. It is kind of private, <laughs> so you don't have to share with us if you don't want to. But while we're waiting on Alistair's um, answer to come up, uh, I want to get into some fun, some questions that I had. My, one of my questions was, it not really a question, it's, basically a statement um i thought that it'd be interesting to see how many loyal fans from other lines would try the bahamas paradise because they, they sound like they would be easier to handle those turnover quick turnover cruises and a lot of people would be geared towards the bahama paradise because there's going to be like a, just a two-day cruise like yeah. maybe two maybe three days yeah, it's like I said, it's a like, lot of people don't want to stay on a cruise that long you know with the pandemic what do you think do you think um, you would be geared towards trying, you know, the Bahamas, the Bahama breeze. Oh, we got Emma Cruz on here. Hello, Emma. And she Hi, said, Emma. Uh, vaccine started today. She is from also from the UK. Hey, how you doing? Welcome, Thank you welcome. so much. Well, well, here's some facts. There's, um, talk, we're going to talk about Carnival first. There's, uh, there's a fee that they're paying every month, Carnival Cruise Line, and they're paying 500 million a month to stay afloat right now. They borrowed for a mil four billion dollars through this pandemic to survive, but yeah. they're burning through it five hundred million a month. I can't yeah. even say it, there's so many numbers. Yeah, That's because, a lot I mean, of zeros. I mean they still have to maintain their fleet, which is mm -hmm. which is huge for the Carnival Corporation, right? Because it's not just Carnival, it's Carnival, Costa, Princess, Royal, all, all, the, all of them. Uh, all these different cruise lines that mm -hmm. Carnival owns. Yes. Um, okay. And yeah, right. Carnival, Carnival. Costa, Princess, Princess, all the different lines they do that they own. own a lot. So they are the number one cruise line. So they've got all that, and then they have to still, while a lot of workers weren't there, they still mm -hmm. have to pay uh, support staff that are there. They still yeah. have to pay the people to answer the, the phones. The engineers are there. Yeah. So it's still <laughs> upkeep still on the ships. Staff. Yeah. And I heard that on, on the on the ships, they still have have to buy you know commissaries. They have to you know pay for their you know toiletries and things like that. So they still working on the ships. It's just no passengers. And yeah. then also, uh, I'm thinking they may have to probably in the future cut their fleet maybe because they have so many ships they probably going to have to either scrap it or they're going to have to go to the auction block or they're going to have to try to stay afloat some kind of way they can so the question would be how would they get out of debt and we can go ahead and follow up with another video on this if you like all this information and we don't mind giving it and then another another thing is how many test cruises would they have before we start selling you know, because I know they're doing a lot of virtual uh, tests. They're testing uh, the crew and they're training them on the COVID situations because there's over 250,000 people who
who have lost their jobs and are waiting to go back to work. And I'm one of them people. <laughs> I, I love doing my travel agency business with me, Mr. Traveler and Cruise Talk. We love doing what we do. And this is my full-time job. Thank God my husband has, you know, something to fall back on, which is fine. But uh, I do, I'm, uh, there's $26 uh, billion dollars in, in income that's going um, due to the cruise line <laughs> and then also uh, the airlines is down 15 to 25 percent and then the restaurants there's a third of restaurants that has went out of business over over I'm, this particular I'm sorry guys I, I wasn't I wasn't laughing at what you were saying that's very mm -hmm. serious I, 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 we'll get back to that I, yes I was I happened to see Alistair's comment over the top of the phone and it made me laugh because he said mm -hmm. he's got a Alistair's from Scotland again. he's got a, a, a present from us from a group cruise we were supposed to go on mm -hmm. and then but I'm reading down he said he's trying to find a Loch Ness Monster chew toy for Snowball he would tear that <laughs> thing up <laughs> Alistair Snowball is is hard on toys he'll tear it up in one day so get something that's sturdy if you're gonna do, gonna do it and thank you so much Alistair we have something coming back to you as well we sure do um, yeah, so absolutely. I think out of all of this, the mm -hmm. the restaurant thing is really making a lot of news There's right now. There's a third of restaurants that's out of business in the U United States. Because One of all, third. all these lockdowns that keep happening, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, we've but we've also seen and heard stories about restaurant tours uh, bucking the system and opening up the restaurant anyway. Yes, yes. And I mean, I guess if you're on your last leg and 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 the government's not passing any of these. Uh, any more of the bail, any bailouts for the businesses, for mm -hmm. the small businesses, or they're taking their time doing it, yeah. and you're not allowed to open your doors, I mean, what do you do? I mean, it's kind of... You, you, you had a catch-22. You have to do something. Yeah. Some people are going against the system. They're going against the government, and they're opening on their own, and they're just yeah. taking a risk. It's, yeah. it's getting to that point. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, so uh, that's where we are right now, and, and and we'll have a little bit more uh, information on some of the financials. Sure but we just will. know that a lot of I, I kind of wanted to put everybody's mind at ease a bit. But it, I mean, it really is a real situation that these cruise lines are burning through cash, just keeping their ships afloat. Mm -hmm. Literally. Yes. Um, Remember, Carnival five hundred million a month. That's how much they're paying, and they've already borrowed four mil four billion. So they burning yeah. through it real fast. So a lot of the cruise lines are selling equity out uh, to investment firms, mm -hmm. um, and you know, and what's that? That's based on, you know, it made a, in a way that is a, I guess it's twofold. <laughs> in a way that is a good sign because they are investing in the future of the company. They see right. a road uh, to making money yes. with them. Mm -hmm. um, so, and. Uh, uh, you know that to me that is a good sign seeing the cruise ship like we just saw in the port of miami there is a good sign it is seeing the vaccine coming out is a good sign um so we're getting there uh, i think like somebody said the other day the light at the end of the tunnel is not a train coming at you finally it's <laughs> it's actually the end of the tunnel oh we got a super chat i got dust you this so off. much c j kyle's Thank you so much. Shout out to the OG cruise couple. One time for Detroit. Woo! Woo! <laughs> you got to get to the horn there, buddy. I miss cruising a whole lot. <laughs> I am a nurse. I am unsure about the vaccine, but I just might just to get back on the ship. <laughs> I hear you. But for the celebration, yes. I can't wait to meet you, CJ Lyles. Thank you so much for the super chat. Like my mother said, each and every Red Copper goes towards our vision to push information out uh -oh. to you. We got another super chat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Aries. Our great. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Hola to my favorite cruise couple. We are so bummed that the 6th of February Mardi Gras cruise was canceled. Looking yeah. forward to the Carnival Celebration group cruise. Thank you both for all you do. Thank you so much, Aries. Aries are great. We so really much. appreciate that so much. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that. All right. So I'm not sure. Did Alice there answer if he had the no, was he getting the vaccine or no? No. Okay. So a lot of people saying they don't really want the vaccine and a lot of people saying, go ahead and give it to me because I'm ready yeah. to cruise. So it's like 50-50 with our audience. You know, I heard a, I heard a talk show talking about uh, the vaccine the other day. It, it kind of made sense to me um, in a way, you know, 
for people who are, you know, 40 plus years old, you remember back in the day that we had all these vaccines for <laughs> uh, polio and and measles and chicken mumps pox and, and, and yes. right mumps and everything. And before that, it was more stuff out mm -hmm. there, uh, all kinds of diseases. Dealt with a lot. And they made these vaccines and different things to combat these diseases. And they did it back then when they really didn't have a whole lot of technology. No, the technology is way advanced now. Right. Um, I think more than anything now is because it just, you know, in this age of... I was there saying, yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, in, this, in this age of I can talk to somebody like Alistair in Scotland right now mm -hmm. while I'm sitting here in Florida, uh, a lot of information gets around the world, whether it's good, bad, true mm -hmm. or false, whatever the case may be. But there's fear about something that literally the whole world may have to take, I guess. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of... I don't want to be pushed. There's a lot it. of conspiracy in it uh, about this thing. It's a lot of... Like you said, absolutely. I don't mm -hmm. want to be forced to do no. this thing. Um, so, Cruz Talk said it's, it's in the UK already. It's supposed to be in the UK. Right. Already. It, it started in the UK, I believe, today. It did? Yeah. Wow. I haven't even had time to watch the news. Yeah. Okay. That's what, uh, I've been busy researching that's for you guys. Alistair and uh, Emma were mentioning, the, mm -hmm. mentioning that on there. So, I didn't see Carol Harrison on there today. She wanted Carol to be, Harrison was the, one of the first she people won our, to. She, she was, won our trivia yesterday. She was one of the first people to say hi at the beginning. Oh, she did. Okay, good. So she's, she's on. on. Mm -hmm. So, we'll, and we'll have. Hi, a, Carol. We're going to have the little uh, trivia. If you can guess the ship, this one's a little bit harder than it was yesterday. Carol Harrison won yesterday. She guessed the Carnival Pride. That's right. <laughs> Today's is a little bit harder, but Today's she uh, harder. wanted to briefly talk about because she's going on the Carnival Horizon and <laughs> she has her a. Uh, a Havana cabin. So John Palmer said, "Would they make it mandatory for to, to cruise? We as soon as we find out, we will let you know." It, you know, it very well could Welcome be. Welcome, Michelle. Know. You know, like we were saying yesterday, it could be a thing where. If you have it and have your documentation, welcome on board. If mm -hmm. not, you're going to have to bring your test with you. Yes. And this, that, and the other. So I, I think that's something we may see. I don't know. Hopefully they don't make you get it to go on board because, you know, then no matter what side of the fence you're on, mm -hmm. I, you know. Before Mr. Traveler get into the game of the guessing, <clears throat> the guessing game of which ship is it, <clears throat> first I want to say, I'm sorry, I got the fan right on me. Cut my voice off. Mm -hmm. I want to say thank you to everybody who has jumped on, who has joined us. I see a lot of new people on here. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe because we are almost to 30,000 subscribers. We are almost there. So we're trying to get there before the holiday. That would be a good Christmas gift for us. If you can just go ahead and subscribe. Thank you everybody for your super chats. That's right. And thank you for your comments today. We appreciate each and every one of you. We also having a <clears throat> a card giveaway, a, a um, Christmas card giveaway. Oh, you want to do it now? Yes, I'm okay. going to do it now. I really want wanted to do something different this year. Uh, I wasn't going to tell, but I am going to tell now. Mr. Traveler said I should tell you that I, we are giving you a gift. <laughs> So if you send us a Christmas card, we're going to send you a card back in return. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put something very inspirational and positive on the card from directly from me and Mr. Traveler. Mm -hmm. We're going to actually hand write it. Okay. Now, people usually don't do that anymore. They don't hand write things, but we are. And we're going to put something inspirational because this year has been such a challenge that we just want to inspire you to keep going for next year. So you send us a card. We're going to send you a card. And then Christmas Eve, I'll say New New Year's, we're going to pull from the, the cards. We'll use the envelopes. We're going to pull on screen and we're going to give you a big gift from Magic Kingdom. Yeah, we'll, pick, we live right down we'll pick a winner mm -hmm. and give you give you something. Thanks for subscribing, M. Ross. So we appreciate it. here is the P.O. That's box. Our, that's our address. <laughs> you can so I'll leave it up there for a while if you want to yeah. work on it. Yeah. Um, so. I see Auntie Gladys working on the car. Auntie Gladys? Auntie she had Gladys. the best cards ever. She has the best cards ever. <laughs> okay, so let's... She's the one who got us started with all this Christmas cards. She hand makes everything. I love me some Auntie Gladys. Hi, Auntie Gladys. Hopefully you enjoyed your Thanksgiving. And so, uh, we text each other, too. <laughs> so, Carol Harrison said she's going on the Carnival Horizon. She won yesterday's trivia, so we're going to talk yes. about it for a couple minutes. Uh, here she... 
she is. Oh, there she goes. Isn't she beautiful? The Carnival Horizon. We wrote That's her not one that too long ago. She guessed yesterday and won. Thank you so much, Carol Harrison. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So there's the Carnival Horizon. We appreciate it. Uh, we wrote that, what, last July, I believe? We, we did. Were on there. Uh, Auntie Gladys was on there. Auntie Gladys was on there. Val Toussaint was on there. Auntie Gladys is G Dub Walker. That's who we talking to. So and here, Google's us all the time. Here's the Havana balcony room. You can okay. see the the balcony out there. So it's got a different. So what are we looking at right here? This is the Havana balcony room. Okay. Havana Cabana balcony. So you can see it's got a different oh, decor. Nice. A uh, little bit wider than the other cabins. It does have that nice big balcony out there. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit different is the balcony does not go all the way to the edge of the water. It's like a, it's like a nice sized sitting area out there, and then there's okay. a little bit of a walkway where the water is. But it's all fairly private. They have it locked off just to Havana Cabana like people. I like set up. Can walk around down there. I like the light colors too. There's the the kiddos having fun on the walkway. Have you guys ever did this? Anybody um, ever did this? I, I don't think I'll do that again. I did it once. That was enough. For me. I, I did it, but it was it's scary. It, it was it, it really it didn't look that it didn't look that scary until you got on there, and I was like, it's oh, scary. this is a little bit more than. Um, <laughs> it's it's really a challenge. It's it's called the challenge challenge walk, and it's really a challenge because I got nervous up there, <laughs> but you have to finish it. So we had a great <laughs> once time. Once I seen the little kids doing it, I was like. I can do this too. I when I got it. there, I was like, "Oh boy!" And then they have the, um, you know, they have the sky ride that goes around the top of the the car, which yeah. um, the Havana Bar, the waterworks, mm -hmm. uh, the blue iguana. They have the guys picking anchor on there. Yeah. So we rode the ship in July. We really had a we great did. time on there. Yes. Um, Cloud Nine Spot, a seafood shack. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's just it's a really it's a really fun ship. Uh, yes. Sister ship of the Vista. Um, it's just a really great ship. You're gonna have a good time, and I know you cannot wait to get on board that beautiful ship. Yes. So what's up top is our PO box. Make sure you send us a card. Somebody asked about our shirts, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and show you our okay, so shirts. Okay. So this is a, a work in progress. Well, we're gonna have these on the YouTube channel and the Facebook. Uh, we're gonna make the logo on the front this a little bit bigger. It. For the ones that Here's we put the on there, the just a little bit on the bigger. And then we flip the camera okay. so you can see the back here. Okay. Uh, where's my other camera? Here we go. Okay. Let me see. So if you want to turn on. So it has uh, that on the back has the life short. Life short? Yeah, turn a little oh, bit more. Boy. See? And that is actually a photograph. Get a little shine back. Okay. But that's a photograph of a, of, a, of a ship and a beach. It's actually uh, a photo taken on. You're good. Um, it's actually a photo taken on, um, where was we at? Carnival's Island. We were at Our Half favorite, Moon K. Half Moon K. So it's a beautiful picture of Half Moon K mm -hmm. within the letters on the back of the shirt. Mr. And Traveler have there. it on his back as well. You want yes. Me it's the same, the same okay. thing. Yeah, it's just guy, it, guy version. It so we did this, these a little bit different. These are much thicker. Yes. I like thick t-shirts. I like good quality. Yep. T-shirts, you know, because so I love fashion. We're gonna make the logo just a so. tad bit, smidge bit bigger. These are mm -hmm. our our prototype ones. Mm -hmm. They will be available coming up very, 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 very soon. We'll let you know to be on the YouTube channel and Facebook. We just and had, we have we just had a hawk, <laughs> <laughs> a hawk just flew past our window, and Mr. Traveler was like, "Oh my God!" And, he and, caught his attention. <laughs> and we have some other uh, designs going too. Yeah, you never know what you're gonna see out the yeah. window. Over here. Absolutely. Florida is fun. It's you, fun. You'll see a bird <laughs> flying by with a snake in your like, hand. Wait a minute, but the sunsets are amazing here. All right, are we ready for today's trivia game? So here's how it goes. Let's I'm going to show you some pictures. You have to try to guess what the ship is. Mm -hmm. And whoever gets the correct guess uh, gets to give us a question or a topic that we will include in the next day's video. Yes. And I want to thank Cruise Talk for joining us. He got to go get his dinner. We got to run. Love you, too. <laughs> All right. Okay. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can figure it out. First one, figure out. This one is a little more difficult today, I will tell you. Here we go. All right. So there it is. here we have the picture of a beautiful interior, uh, uh, the interior picture of a balcony cabin. It's a lovely Art Deco contemporary look. Yeah, contemporary design. Navy blue and Look like mm -hmm. slate gray in the background yeah, with a yeah. light gray backwash. Mm -hmm. I love that. 
And okay. I really love the artwork. What ship is this? Mm -hmm. What ship is it? What ship is it? What ship is Take a this? good look at the balcony railing, you know. So if you're used to certain ships, you might notice that that's not a typical railing that you see on some other right. ships. <laughs> this, is this isn't like a crazy uh, wind star or something like that. This is a mm -hmm. mainstream cruise line, so you yes, know. Yes, it is. Can anybody guess what the ship is? So I'm going to be moving. I got another next picture. I don't see any guesses yet. Okay. This is a harder one. It is. All right, so All right, there you go. Here is uh, one of the venues on board the ship. I left a little logo at the bottom on the back of the chair. Um, so this is one of the venues. I believe it is on deck eight, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. um, so you can sit in here and, and enjoy it. This is a nice uh, pub area on this ship that has the glass oh. overlooking. Beautiful, as you can see, nice sunset there. Um, enjoy while you're cruising. We actually were sitting in here for an event while we were on board this ship. We that's a we hint. Did. We rode, we have rode this ship. We have rode this ship. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see the the guests is coming in. Yep. Not yet. Nothing yet. <laughs> nothing yet. Okay, and then moving on. Mm -hmm. There's another. Uh oh, one. this might help give it away a little bit. It's gonna spill the beans right here. I've seen some clues. I've seen some guesses that have been very, very <laughs> close so far, but I have not seen the correct guess. Mm -hmm. This should help a lot of people right here. Uh-huh. Let's see here. Can okay. you can you get it? Come on guys. You can you can get this. How do you guys what do you what ship is this? Uh, you got you got to tell me the cruise line and you the ship name or something. I can't you can't just say <laughs> what company it is. Somebody was somebody on here was very very close with very their guests. Very close. Somebody was very close. Come on guys, you can do this. <laughs> you can do this. You can do this, guys. Close. I see a very couple close. another close guest. There we go. There it is. CJ Kyle's from our, our Kyle's. Detroit family. Encore. That is the brand new Norwegian Encore. Yes. Yay. It just came out, so it's hard to, it was hard to guess because it's a new ship. But we you in order for you to know it, you have to ride it. <laughs> yeah, it's very similar to the to the Bliss. Um so that's why uh, I, I said it was close. Let's give him the horn, honey. See uh, yeah. there you go. Uh, CJ had said the CJ. Bliss, so it was very close. Beautiful, so beautiful CJ ship, guys. Kyle's got it. Um <laughs> yeah, we we were honored to go on uh, an inaugural sailing on here. Oh my goodness! And, I'll link that right here. And I mean, they rolled out the red carpets. Uh, so, hey, CJ, make it was sure almost you, my favorite. You give us a question or uh, some type of topic or something we can chit chat about tomorrow. Yes, please um, think of something that you want us to talk about tomorrow. That way, we can go ahead and address the question to you. Thank you so much, Carol Harrison, for yesterday guessing the carnival. Right. And today we're guests the NCL Encore, which was almost my favorite ship. <laughs> it was almost my favorite ship. I mean, they laid the red carpet out. Norwegian is different because you do everything when you want to do it. Mm -hmm. And it's my favorite cruise line. So we got a chance to meet mm -hmm. Kelly Clarkston there. We did. Um, Oprah spoke uh, at the um, at the media event. Yeah, it was. It was nice. Yeah, very, <laughs> very nice, very beautiful ship, yes. and uh, just just a really great time. It did a great job with mm -hmm. this, and looking forward to the new things um, that uh, that Norwegian has in the future for their ships. They're coming out with some really nice ships once all the dust settles and all this stuff. Yes. I'm sure everything's probably sidelined. Right, and let me just warn you right now: the videos <laughs> from the Norwegian Encore is not like any other tour that we have. Inaugural sailings are totally different than any cruise you ever been on so you can't just say oh i want to do the encore because you see how nice they treated us that was just for the inaugural selling so inaugural sellings are different that's why we try right. to get on them but as they, a group. but they had a wonderful uh oh, but they always beautiful. had wonderful service the service was yeah. awesome the ship was even better than the, the, the michelle <laughs> michelle said i oh. tried being a newbie <laughs> that's, that's all right that's a good try I, t I told you this one uh this one would be a, a more difficult one since it is newer ship mm -hmm. okay cj uh what would, would you, you do, do 100 day plus world cruise so which line 
pros and cons. Oh, excellent topic. I love it, man. Oh, that's a good topic. Yep. Okay, perfect. We can talk about that tomorrow. We'll chit chat about it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. We want to thank you so much for watching, thank ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. We appreciate you joining us every day until Christmas. We appreciate it. We're we doing this live every single day. We're going to try to do it around the same time. Hopefully, you guys like this time. And then on weekends, we could just go a little earlier. I'm going to try to go like at 5. If I, five, is, <laughs> five, like five is my goal. Mr. Traveler has a full-time job, so as soon as he get off work, we have to we have to film. But I appreciate each and every one of you, our OGs, our oldies with goodies, our rider dies, our newbies. Thank you so much, and we're gonna do that giveaway. So make sure you contact us at the PO box uh, number up at top. Send us a, a Christmas card, even if it's a little postcard. We're not talking about nothing fancy. We're talking about like going to the dollar store or something, you know, and sending something. And we're gonna put your name in a drawing, and we're gonna give you something. Well, first of all, we're gonna send you. We're gonna send you a card back. Yes, we're going to send you a card back, and we also are going to put your name in a little raffle, and we're going to give, give you something for that. So thank you. All right, everybody. Thank you, each and every one of you, for watching. Um, you know what? We're going to get one day closer to, one that, day closer. to that cruise ship together. Yes, absolutely. As we continue to talk about it and look and see positive signs here and there. Mm -hmm. We may have a bump or two along the way. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to get up, dust ourselves off. And keep mm -hmm. on going. We're gonna, we're gonna we are be on the downside of this thing. We're we on are. the backside of the mountain. Oh, we um, got a super chat. Oh, wonderful. Thank though. you so much, Karen Whiteman Bill. Thank you. She said, Love you guys. We appreciate you. Thank you, Karen. We Thank appreciate you so that much super, for the chat. super chat. We appreciate you, Karen. Uh, it goes towards our little vision. You know, we need every dime we can get because we're not selling right now. So we thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, we, we do. appreciate it. And we appreciate it. It's dark outside now. Pitch black? It was light. It gets dark so quick in the winter, but, you know, it's not really winter here in, in Florida. It's like. It was, it, was in the, it was in the 40s this morning. It was chilly this morning, but it warms up during the day, which I appreciate. As long as it's not snowing, I'm good. <laughs> True. Mm -hmm. All right, All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. We Thank hope that you. please stay safe and happy and well out there. Mm -hmm. uh, love on your family. Yes, uh, love them. You know, at this crazy times this is travel just setter we you're in our prayers get yes. better make sure you be well and we are praying for you you will fight this this terrible disease thank you boom mm -hmm. all right everybody life short have fun see the world bye everyone bye everybody have a wonderful time <laughs>